Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are a ton of things that have been popping up that aim to use Claude code in different ways. Like, Claudia aims to be a graphical interface, while Crystal aims to be like a vibe coding environment, or the web UI aims to be a web UI for Claude code. Much more stuff has also popped up that aims to do something similar. However, we now have one more such thing that is kind of cool as well. This one is called Terragon. Terragon aims to be a Claude code wrapper that converts Claude code into something like OpenAI's Codex or Google's Jewels. It lets you run Claude code on the cloud. Whether you're in your browser, in your terminal, or on your phone, it works wherever you are. You can offload coding tasks and come back to pull requests ready to review. It gives you isolated sandboxes, parallel agents, Git-based workflows, and on-the-go access via phone and other devices as well. It works with either your API key or your Claude Code subscription, meaning that if you have a Mac subscription, then you can use that as well. It is not open source, by the way, and it is currently under a waitlist. But the waitlist isn't that bad. I got access quite swiftly, so that shouldn't be a big issue. It is fully free as of now and has no limits. Now, let me show you how it all works as well. Anyway, at first, it asks you to configure your GitHub repos and the Claude subscription or API key in order to use it. You can select between what you want to use, and once it's configured, you'll see this interface. On the left, you have the sidebar that has some options that we'll come to later. But if we look here, you can see that this looks a lot like Codex, like it's extremely similar, and you can type in your prompt here as well as mention files. You can hit at, and based on the selected repo, it will search for the files, and you can mention that here. You can also select the model here between Sonnet and Opus, based on what you want to use, as well as you can put in images here and dictate a prompt with voice if you wish to do that as well. You can also select the repo and branch that you want to work on, and you can see here which tasks are active or not active. That is majorly what it looks like. Now, let's try to do something as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and five music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. I'm going to give it the Kingbench app, and I'll ask it to edit it and implement light theme and dark theme options with it as well. Now, as we send it, You'll see that it will create a new task here, and it doesn't open that automatically. You can just start it and come back to it later. But to see the stuff happen in real time, you can head in, and here you'll see the responses being streamed. You can see that it is basically like Claude Code, where it makes to-do lists, as well as does the stuff accordingly. You don't have much other stuff with it. Like, it doesn't show the git diffs or stuff which I would have liked to see as the edits are happening, but that is not yet available. Anyway, in a bit, it gets done. And you can see that here, it did it all. But now how can you use it? Well, there are multiple ways. So first of all, you can see the diffs of the edits it made here, which is good. But it also makes pull requests for the task. 
similar to Jules. You can view that by hitting the triple dot and then hitting View Pull Request. That will open up the pull request that it has made for the task. And you can easily get that merged or reviewed as well if you want to do that. You can also copy the git patch command in order to apply the diff changes in your code base as well, which is also a good option. However, there's also a Terragon CLI tool that makes it much more seamless to test the stuff it makes locally, as well as continue the Claude code thread locally. It's called Terry, and you can basically get the CLI tool installed locally, which is quite simple to do with a command. Then, authenticate it, and you can run the command that it gives you here, and it will just get the session and newest branch cloned. Now, once that is done, you can resume the Claude code sessions that were in the cloud locally with the Claude resume command that it gives you, and it will just work. From what I can say, it is extremely useful, like really useful. It performs way better than Codex or Jules because it uses Claude code, which is already extremely good, and the whole wrapper around it is really good. I mean, the CLI tool for it and everything is quite good, and it is almost like a background agent that you can run on tasks that are predefined, like some issues in your GitHub repo or stuff like that. You can also mention it in a GitHub issue or something as well, and it can work on that through there without touching anything. Their CLI tool also has some other options, like you can give it a prompt from the CLI itself and make it work on that. Another thing is that you can set up MCP servers with it as well. So you can actually go to the environment sidebar here, then you can see the environments for each one of your repos. You can just go in here, and then you can set up the environment script if there is something that you also want it to do before working in order to make it work correctly. You can also set up MCP here. You can just paste in the string of how you want to set up the MCP accordingly, which is kind of cool as well. You can also set up the environment variables for your app as well if your app needs that. That is majorly how it works. I got access to it and thought to talk a bit about this because it's quite good for regular usage and quite useful. Though, I don't think that it will be free forever because the sandboxes and stuff would require money to run. And even after that, I think that it will be quite good. I would have liked if it was open source or allowed us to use different coding agents in it, like OpenCode or Gemini CLI as well as maybe an option to use different models and optimize our costs. That would also be kind of cool if that happens. That is majorly about it. I found it to be really quite useful for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.